What's up, I'm Vin, and today I want to show how to use the law of cosine. So here's the formula that we're going to need, and let's get started. Now, first I want to go through this tip to think of side angle side when you're using the law of cosines, because the most common mistake I see is that people struggle just to set up the formula. So what I mean by that is, let's say I focus on side P and side Q, and notice that angle R is between them. Then if I was using the law of cosines for this particular triangle, I would have P squared plus Q squared minus 2 times P times Q times cosine of angle R equals side R squared. So I just know how to set up the formula for any triangle, no matter what the name is, because the formula I gave on the, made, on the main page is for the standard triangle ABC. But let's say we targeted a different part of the triangle. Let's say we're using side R and side Q. Notice angle P is between those two. So I would have R squared plus Q squared minus 2 times R times Q, and then we'd have cosine of angle P is equal to side P squared. And now if we do this one more time, this time for side R and side P, notice that angle Q is between those two sides. So we would have R squared plus P squared minus 2 times R times P times cosine of angle Q is equal to side Q squared. So now that we've seen how to set up this formula for any triangle, let's go ahead and look at an example. So for this question here, we have triangle hat and we're given two sides and the angle between them. So what we could do is we could just draw something out here and this is a 36 degree angle between these two sides. So this is like roughly 36 degrees. We don't have to necessarily draw this to scale. And then the shorter side is 14 units long. The bigger side is 24 units long. And now we'll go ahead and label the triangle accordingly. So opposite of the side that's 14 units long would be vertex H because lowercase h represents the side. And now capital T we could write here since lowercase t represents side T, which is 24 units long. And then capital A for angle A we'll put over here right next to the 36 degree angle. So our goal here is to find the measure of this missing side, which we could put a lowercase a here because that's how we match it up to angle A. We would put side A with a lowercase. And now we want to find the measure of this side to the nearest tenth. So what we have here, if we're using the formula from before, we could say here that we have h squared plus lowercase t squared minus 2 times h times t times cosine of angle A is equal to side A squared. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to write this into the formula. So we have 14 squared plus t squared, so we have 24 squared, minus 2 times h was 14 units long, t is 24 units, and then we have cosine of angle A is 36 degrees, and this is equal to A squared. So let's just take a copy of this equation here because we're solving for a, so all we have to do now is just take the square root of both sides. So we'll just go ahead and type this in. We have the square root of, and there's a lot to type, but we have 24 squared, and then we have plus 14 squared, minus 2 times, and we could use the multiplication or just parentheses here, so 2 times 24 times 14, and then we had cosine of 36 degrees. Now notice here that I am in degree mode, so make sure if you're not, you press mode. If you're in radians, please switch over because that will definitely affect your answer big time. So we're rounding this to the nearest tenth, so our final answer here is going to be 15.1. So now let's just record our answer. A is equal to 15.1. Now just to be extra safe, the question specifically asked us to find the measure of side HT. So we could also just write here that HT is equal to 15.1. 